Welcome to the ultimate beach guide for Longbow Key in Florida. We're going to start off on the southern end of the island, just where we are right here. And we're going to move on up through cool little spots just like this one, and then go on to other cool spots just like this, walking through these uh, narrow passageways. And then we're going to go even visit a couple of the parks that are over there. This is Bayfront Park. Lots of cool things to do. And then we'll finish off on the northern part. This is the northernmost tip. That's Coquina Beach up there actually and then we're gonna go and look at some of these cool time lapses as well so please stick around and let's get started right now hey I am Machek and today we're gonna be checking out all the Longboat Key beach access points but before we start I have one little bonus here we're gonna start off with the bonus and that is this first park over the south bridge of Longboat Key this is still in Sarasota County and this is a beautiful area because there's two spots to this so first of all we have a nice area just over the bridge so here is the south bridge and this bridge goes on to uh, Lido Key right here which uh, is where St. Armand Circle is also Lido Beach is right over there but right behind me is Longbow Key and Longbow Key has 12 miles of beaches and on the other side of the bridge over here of the road uh, we have a really nice public park uh, and this public park has a fishing dock as well a fishing pier uh, it, which is you know hexagon in shape take a look at this drone footage here uh, it kind of shows what the general layout is and there's also a nature preserve there also we're going to be going from the south end to the north end of the island and really the first public beach access point uh, is uh, pretty far in actually so if you're coming from the Sarasota South Bridge then it's going to be a little bit of a drive uh, probably about 10 minutes, seven minutes from this South Bridge where we're at right now. But let's go on to the first public beach parking right now. Okay, here we are at the first public beach parking off the South End. Now, unlike Siesta Key, um, these ones are not labeled one, two, three, four, and five, and so on. Um, this is just 2825 Gulf of Mexico Drive. Let's take a look. All right, here's our sign that you're going to see on the street. Obviously, we have bicycle parking, and if you're on the beach, there's always a sign showing the address of where you parked at, so it's easy to get your way back. And of course, no parking, 11 to 5. Now, one thing I will say is that this beach access kind of creeps up on you. You see, there is a house that's in part of this parking access, and there is a U-turn here. So you can come in on this one side, and you can come out right out the other now unfortunately there aren't that many public parking spots and that's kind of the problem with longboat key there's generally not uh, numerous areas with uh, lots of parking which is one of the big attractions about this beach is that there's not many tourists that come here because as you can see behind me there's pretty much three parking spots right here three that's it but actually stick around because I'm going to show you across the street a whole bunch more parking. But even though there are only three, if you get here early enough, I am uh, here in the morning. It is in the middle of March. It's 9.48 a.m. and uh, I found one spot. Let's go take a look at the beach real quick. And here's a quick little uh, sped up version of me walking here on the beach on this access point and the beach sand is absolutely beautiful. As you can tell there's barely anyone on the beach here and the water was not crystal clear but almost. So one thing I love about uh, Longboat Key is that there are so few people on this beach. That's something that you're going to realize as you visit Siesta Key. Uh, much more traffic is just quiet. And there's a couple of spots that might be a little more busy than others, but overall, this is a 12 mile stretch of secluded quietness, and peace and tranquility. Now, follow me from this beach access point to the parking that's located just across the street. Now you have to go down just slightly, and this whole drive took me a little less than two minutes, mostly because I was stuck behind this truck just waiting to uh, turn left here. But as you turn left, on the left side is Town Hall. Let me show you what's going on there because this is one of the benefits of this first beach access point with all the parking that we have here. All of this are spots that uh, you can park on. Okay, now part of these 2825 Gulf of Mexico Drive parking, even though there was only three spots over there, 
um, right across the street, as you saw on this quick drive over, we have Longbow Key Town Hall, located right behind me here. Now it is just one street over, um, and then right behind me over there is the Longbow Key Library. And this area here has about 40 parking spots. Now, I know it's a weekday, but we are in our peak busy season and it is beautiful today not a cloud in the sky and look at all these available spots so i know there are 40 which can fill up pretty quickly but a lot of people don't know about these public parking spots unless they do a little bit of research let's take a walk down a little bit and i'll show you what else this park has to offer and right next to town hall where you can park we have bicentennial park which is where i'm at right now now this park is pretty small, but it does have quite a few seating arrangements. And also there's a little bench for if you wanna have a little picnic after going to the beach or prior to going to the beach. What's also really nice is that we have a Longboat Key Garden. And this is the butterfly garden right behind me, managed by the Longboat Key Garden Club. And if you like reading, if you wanted to see what books they have available, there is a free little public uh, library where you can take a book, put one back, contribute to it, whatever you want to do. Now obviously there's trash receptacles and like I mentioned, plenty of parking right at the town hall. So now let's go to our next public beach parking on Longbow Key. Okay, and we have arrived to our second southernmost public beach access parking on Longbow Key. Uh, this one is at 3175 Gulf of Mexico Drive. Now, I'm going to show you real quick where it is on the street level, but in this parking area behind me, on both sides you can park, and there's approximately 19 spots. It really depends how well people park. But there is, it's right across the street from the Longboat Bay Club. And also right behind me is a Michael Saunders real estate company. That's an easy point to see. Now, if you're driving on the street, here's what the sign will look like that you see. And also right here, right at the street level, there is a the Sarasota County public transportation on demand service. So look into that if you want to get direct access to this spot. Now the same rules apply everywhere on Longbow Key. From 11 p.m. until 5 a.m., no parking, none at all. None of these spots can be parked in. They will tow you, you will pay for it, and the question is, will it be worth it? But right now, let's go and check out this public access. Now, let's check out all the little things we have at this one. Picnic table with some trash receptacles, and right across from that is a little bench with our little uh, educational signs, plus bicycle parking if you do ride a bicycle. And then here are all the rules of all the uh, beach access points. So no alcohol, no nudity, no pets. Um, and then here is our wonderful beach. Boy, this uh, Longbow Key is truly spectacular. You know, one thing I wanted to say is, here on the beach, I just want to remark about the sand real quick. So this sand is not just like Siesta, where Siesta is quartz very finely ground, 99% quartz. Um, this is a little bit more of a normal sand, although it is white. And when I say normal, I mean not like turtle, not like big shells or anything like that. It, there are some shells right at the shore, but over here, it is really nice. Here, take a look at the sand. Still pretty powdery, I gotta say. So let's go on to the next beach parking spot. Okay, we are finally at our third beach access point from the southern side, and this one is at 3355 Gulf of Mexico Drive. Now, this one here is right beside the Seahorse Resort on this side, and over here there's a little single family home. And right on the other side across the street is the dock on the bay. But I just want to remark that I can't believe there's nobody here. On such a beautiful day, the temperature is just perfect. And I'm the only car in this whole parking lot. Now this parking lot can have right around 20 cars here if you park it right. But once again, we have the same things. We have our bike parking, bicycle parking. We have our picnic table right behind me here. We have plenty of trash cans and a beautiful entryway onto the beach. And there's only really one thing to say here. Yes, please. I just want to remark, you see how empty the beach is? 12 miles of almost emptiness. 
I love Longbow Key. And if I could buy a house on Siesta Key or a Longbow Key, I would want either one. But if I'm, you know, in my age right now, I'm in my mid 40s, I would go to Siesta Key. And if I was in my 60 plus range, I would come to Longbow Key, mostly because the lifestyle change. Now, if I would be very active um, with family and I'd have a lot of family coming to visit all the time, Siesta Key might be a better option because Siesta Key does have more accessibility to things such as restaurants, little ice cream shops, coffee shops, and so on. Whereas Longbow Key is a long stretch and throughout this long stretch, all you mostly see is condos and condos and condos. There's a Publix a little further south from where we are right now um, and there's a, you know, a little village here and there, but overall uh, it's just a different lifestyle. Okay, so let's go on to our fourth beach access point. All right, we are at the fourth beach access parking spot at uh, Longbow Key. And this one is at 3495 Gulf of Mexico Drive. And also there's additional parking spots across the street. We're gonna cross the street right here and I'm gonna show you where those are. All right, so this is actually Longview Street. Now this is public beach access parking. And right now it is empty. I have been here before where this gets absolutely crazy. So this is one of the more popular places to park. There's also some spots under shade. So what's really nice is that uh, this whole area here goes uh, to the bay right here. And it goes to the beach over on this side. And as you can tell, you know, there's a few spots right here, right behind me that has some shade. There's some shade right over here. And there's also a little spot to launch your kayak. So here, this kayak launching spot is really neat. And it comes out to a really calm part on the bay. And uh, it's surrounded by mangroves, uh, which you know are protected, you can't cut those down. So right now, let's go back and I'm just gonna show you what the rest of the parking looks like. But this one here has quite a few spots. Unfortunately, it's not well organized. So people don't know how to park properly. Uh, and what happens is it becomes, you know, a big mess of parking. So um, overall, you know, you don't have such bad situations where people block each other in, but it just ends up being a little wonky with, uh, with cars kind of everywhere. Okay, so here's the sign on uh, the part that I was just showing you. And uh, as you cross the street over here, this is the sign to look for when you're coming down to park. And then here's the main uh, parking area. On the left side, as you can tell, there's a handicapped spot, trash receptacles, there's even a picnic table on the left and bicycle parking right in front. And here's a ramp. So if you're in a wheelchair or if someone is in a wheelchair with you, they can come up this ramp and uh, there's, uh, the, you know, the, obviously the, the beach is right there. Um, although once it goes down, it turns to sand. So that's where the beach, uh, that's where the wheelchair access kind of stops. Um, also, as you kind of turn around from here, here you have the, the more trash receptacles, some information and just, uh, you know, a beach access directional sign. All right, our fifth beach access point is uh, 4001 Gulf of Mexico Drive which actually does not have any parking, but literally directly across the street is Bayfront Park at 4052 Gulf of Mexico Drive. And it does have a lot of parking. In fact, we're gonna come back in just a moment. I'm gonna show you what this park has to offer. And uh, first, let's just walk across the street and take a look at the beach access. All right, let's take a walk across the street right over here. There's a nice uh, sign, you know, where all the cars will stop for you. Um, and then as you come up here, as you can tell, there's no parking at all. But unfortunately, I screwed up this video and this is where we kind of leave off where I recorded the beach, but I guess I didn't. Okay, and now we're at Bayfront Park, right across the street from that uh, beach access I just showed you. And to start off, it just starts with a smaller parking spot. It's about a dozen spots here, plus a couple handicap spots. But uh, I'll show you those in a little bit. Over here, we have that little library that uh, you can find on Longboat Key. And then here is our first playground. Uh, this playground has like a rubber 
you know, ground, and then uh, I recorded just part of it here. Um, right next to it, there's a picnic table, there's a swing set right here, uh, one for toddlers, one for just regular kids, and then uh, barbecue grills are right there as well. We have a covered picnic table here, and then bathroom right over here. And now let's go on this uh, long little walk here. Uh, so over on the right side is like a big open field. Uh, over on the left, uh, we have like some, some mangroves and little trees and so on. Uh, and then obviously a little bench. Now what's neat is uh, this table that we're coming up on has a built-in uh, checkerboard or chessboard. So it's kind of neat, bring your own pieces and you can play. And then uh, walking down further, we get down to the bay. Uh, so here on the bay, it's neat because first to start, we have this uh, little gazebo with a picnic table uh, covered, you know, so for when it rains. If you're fishing, uh, you have a little cutting table uh, with a hose over there. And it was such a beautiful day here. Look how crystal clear the water is. Um, this doesn't have a kayak launching spot here. There is one a little further down the park. I'll show you that in a moment. But the water was just unbelievably clear today. So as I'm walking through this park, there's just a couple things to keep in mind. You know, with these two docks that we have, this one right behind me and this one back there, the first one I went to, um, there's no mooring. Uh, also, there's, it's not really set up to launch a kayak off of. It's definitely set up to just kind of stand and fish and look there, but the water is pretty shallow here, maybe about five, four or five feet deep. So no diving, nothing like that. Uh, this area does get uh, manatees once in a while too but also if you're a dog walker this is a dog friendly park it's got little bags for uh, you know your dog and uh, trash cans as well uh, plus there's this little bridge that I'm on right now and uh, on this side of the bridge the park continues and this part of the park has a much larger gazebo than that other one that we saw and this one has uh, eight picnic tables at the moment bunch of trash cans even has outlets for electric if you want to charge your phone and or bring your laptop and get a little work done um, there are barbecue grilling uh, areas as well right behind me over here and uh, this is a nice little place to seek shelter if it starts pouring rain but let's just keep walking right around and I'll show you the rest of the park So here at the uh, north end of the park, we do have another dock here and there are two floating docks for kayak launching. And there is a whole bunch of kayak storage spots, but those are actually reserved by the, uh, by the uh, people that rent them. So if you wanna rent them, there's a phone number you can call and they, uh, they help you out. Uh, also on this end, there's a, you know, kind of like a half basketball court, um, meaning there's two half basketball courts. There's one where you can take three pointers over right here. And then there's another one that goes back and forth, but it's kind of narrow, um, but that's okay. It's still a nice place to come play. Very active day today. There's also uh, three pickleball courts and a couple tennis courts here as well. Very active day. And Bayfront Park is really a unique park. It's got a couple things that most parks do not have. First of all, take a look at this bicycle repair station. So if you get a flat tire, you need to change something out, you need some uh, keys, you need wrenches, they have it all in here. Also, there's a dog park, uh, not just one, but two dog parks. There's uh, one for small dogs and one for large dogs. And then right behind me, there's a unisex bathroom, plus so much parking available so much there's not only this section right behind me here there's also another section right over here and i'll just keep walking and there's more and more parking spots here now i have seen this parking lot completely full before so it's not that uh, we don't fill them up but you know we're in march it's beautiful it's midday on a wednesday and there's plenty of parking available now our next beach access is a little odd, to be honest. 
this one is really just tailored for the people who kind of live here. And this beach access here is just a long grassy path. There's nowhere to park around here and there is a uh, Manatee County uh, public bus station right here. So you have a little gazebo here to kind of keep you sheltered and it's right next to the Zota Beach Resort. A little hard to find honestly and to see which bus stops go here you got to go online. All right Longbow Key what's going on look at this please replace that. Anyway, here we are at that beach access. Let's go and uh, take a quick, quick walk over there. Now this walk is actually longer than it seems. This was recorded at 16x speed. Well, here we are. So you can tell the beach is right behind this sign. Absolutely beautiful, gorgeous day. Not that many people. And now we are at the sixth beach access point on Log Key. This is 4795 Gulf of Mexico Drive. And this one has quite a few spots. Not as good as Bayfront Park that we just came from, but uh, it does have, a, this is a good 30, 40, maybe 50 spots. Now this is a very narrow uh, passageway here, as you can tell. There are two uh, handicapped parking spots at the end there. Um, but this one is actually not showing up properly on Google Maps. So if you're using your phone to find this location, you're going to have to look for the uh, sign at the street level because it's going to try to bring you uh, further south from here, about two, maybe three developments uh, from here. So let's walk out there and let me show you what the front looks like. And as you can tell, this is like a long, narrow passageway. On the left is all the parking. You can't park on the big wall on the right side there. But as you come out to Gulf of Mexico Drive, this is the sign to look for. Also location-wise, there is a public transportation right behind me. And there's also a bus stop right on the other side, the SCAT bus station. And it is located uh, just next to Infinity. So Infinity is right here behind me, that tall building. And parking is right down here. All right, let's take a quick walk onto the beach. Uh, as you notice, uh, all the standard stuff, bicycle parking and all that. But one thing is that this walk from the parking to the actual beach is really short. That's nice. Now our next beach uh, access point is 6399 Gulfside Road. And we'll go there in just a moment, but I wanted to show you where the parking is. It's actually across the street off of General Harris Street. And as you can tell here, there's a long stretch behind me of public parking. Here's the sign. All right, here's the sign. It's pretty much on the corner there with Gulf of Mexico Drive. And on the left, this is the entire public parking area. All of this you can park and the church is on the right. OK, now that we've seen the parking, let's go take a look at the actual public beach access. Also, General Harris Street is right after, it's on the north side of Christ Church. And uh, here is the church right here behind me. Um, also, Gulfside Road is a very small road and there's no public, you know, right of way for uh, pedestrian crossing. So please be careful crossing at this part of uh, Gulf of Mexico Drive. So let's go and check it out. All right, we're walking down Gulf of Mexico Drive, just crossing over, and this is Gulf Side Road. And this is just a private little road, and as you come up to the end here, the beach axis is on the left. And it's posted everywhere, no parking anywhere. These are private residences, please don't park here. Except, of course, if you're in the handicapped spots, uh, there are two handicapped spots on the left that we just passed over there. Plus, uh, there's a little bench right over here in the shade, which is super nice. And coming on up, this is the beach access. It's not really that long of a walk, but uh, 6399 Gulfside Road is the address here. Really a beautiful place and uh, pretty secluded uh, as well. Now our next beach access, we're almost at the you know northern, complete northern tip of Longbow Key. And it's at 6847 Gulf of Mexico Drive. And unfortunately, there is no parking here. Um, it is also across the street from a plaza where there's quite a bit of things uh, here, a lot of little shops. There's, you know, liquor store, Pilates, you name it. There's quite a bit of parking in this plaza, but I'm pretty sure that there's no parking to access the beach. So actually the beach is right here. Let's go over there. Now there is a bus stop, a public transportation bus stop right there. So let's go check it out. 
Okay, we just went across the street right there and it's kind of hidden here, but there is a marker here, the MCAT bus stop, and here's all the information about that. And then as you come up here, there's the official beach access sign, and then you kind of go in between two uh, private residences. Uh, these are condos, I believe. You kind of go between them, then you come up on this wooden walkway and I'll be honest, this is a little long. This is longer than it seems from the actual bus stop to the beach is a little bit of a trek. So get ready. And our next one is out almost at the very tip of North Longbow Key. And this one is at 100 Broadway Street. Now we actually have about 30, 35 spots here. First, we have a parking lot on this side here. And then we have the main parking lot right behind me. So let's go check it out real quick. All right, on the left and the right side, we have plenty of parking, probably about 12 spots or so. And then as you come on up here, the uh, there's the bicycle parking on the left. As you can tell, it's lots of people here. A nice bench and then same rules as everywhere else. You know, no alcohol, no littering, no nudity and no animals and so on. So let's keep walking over here. We're going to go up this uh, wooden walkway here on the left side coming up. There's a little rest area. And then as you keep going, once again, it's kind of like the last one. It's a little bit of a walk to get out to the beach. Uh, not as bad the last one, uh, but you know, it's a little bit. So here we are and there's the beach right there. Now the second last one is nothing spectacular to be honest. It's at 7055 Seabreeze Avenue. It's on the corner of Seabreeze and Palmetto here. And as you can tell right behind me, it's just a quick little access spot. No parking whatsoever. So take a look. Like I said, not much to see here, but our last one, we're gonna get some drone footage, so just stick around. We're going there right now. All right, last but not least, we are at 100 North Shore Road, not a street or avenue, road. Uh, it might redirect you somewhere else. And this is on the northern tip of Longboat Key, prior to going over the bridge to Kakina Beach. Now there is assigned parking here on the street for beach access. And as you can tell, there's already a line of vehicles behind me. And as I'm approaching here to the main public beach access, uh, you'll see that everyone already got all the good spots. So let's go check it out real quick. All right, from this parking area, we're just walking up. There's actually two entrances, this main one and then the other one, which is a lot smaller. So I decided to take this one. So you can tell the sand is really, really light colored, really white. And right now I'm taking a walk over to this little pier. Now you can't really bring a boat up to it because it's only like two feet deep right there. But uh, it is a nice little place to kind of sit down and relax. I'm sure the tide goes up and down, so it'll be a little higher. But isn't this just such a beautiful place to come and vacation? And let's look at some drone footage. This is basically where we're at. And this is the northern tip of Longbow Key. And uh, I was at that pier that's in the top right corner of the screen right now. That's where I walked out to. That's the last beach access parking uh, and accessibility on North Longboat. But then here's a quick little time lapse of uh, the last two or three spots. This is what it covers. So if you have questions about real estate on Longbow Key or any of the other keys and islands that we have here in Sarasota and Manatee counties, please call me 941-888-SOLD. I'm a real estate agent. I'm with Fathom Realty. I run a small real estate team. And since I've lived here for over 30 years, I can show you all around and let you know what this place has to offer.